Hey, what's up guys? It's Michael here, and I'm going to be doing a video in regards to Dragon Ball Fighters or Dragon Ball Fighter Z, however you want to say it. Now, the reason being is the beta is going to happen soon, or at least the sign-ups are on the 22nd of this month, August 2017. So I'm super hyped to be playing this game, you know, when it comes out, because I've seen so much gameplay, and I'm going to have some gameplay on the screen. And it's just, oh my god, it looks really cool, it looks awesome. I actually saw a clip recently of someone doing, like, a combo with like over a hundred hits and I was like dang which really made me genuinely think about the Marvel vs. Capcom series about all the crazy infinites you could do etc etc so like this video is essentially just gonna be me talking about my hype and just about the game in general I'm not really gonna like do do what I did last time with the uh, roster discussion in Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite in my last video I'm gonna be just being a lot more broad here so if you enjoy, then awesome, cool, like, subscribe, share it out. But, uh, yeah. Now, they did pros postpone the beta signups, like they were supposed to be in July, but now they're this month in August, which is completely okay. Honestly, when they delay stuff, it, in, in a way, it kind of makes me happy, because it lets me know that they actually care. Like, if, this is, I'm just generalizing now, I'm not even talking about, like, Dragon Ball Fighters in general. Anytime a company delays a video game or something, I used to get kind of mad, but now I really don't. Because it just means that they're trying to polish the game, make sure that it works perfectly fine. And for all we know, they might add extra things to, uh, you know, make the game more enhanced. And in this case, when they postponed it, they said it's because they didn't realize the pure excitement of this game. And it's Dragon Ball, so obviously there's going to be a whole ton, like, tons of excitement. So I'm glad that they decided to do that, because now I think they're going to add even more characters so future trunks might be in the, in the beta now and if that's the case and awesome because like they said the game was like 20 percent done but i'm glad that they're just letting it go because now we're going to get more and more when beta comes out and yeah now from what i've heard i don't know if this is true but if this is true then damn but it, it's not a big deal i like i think they're going to do what they did kind of with like the splat fest and the, like the splatoon and arms where you have to put like log on at a certain time and the servers are going to only going to be up at a certain time on a certain day and you only have like a few hours to play if that's true then oh well but you still get to play the game and i i just think that's cool i mean i guess it's understandable they don't want to really like destroy the servers because if they have it on like at all times it's it's more prone to problems whereas if you have it on at like a certain time people could join and obviously it's a shame because I'm sure some people would be busy and they have to go to work or something and it's just like, oh damn, I didn't get to play. But those people that, you know, have the time and stuff, you know, obviously there'd be less people playing, but less server issues. So I'm completely fine with that. Now, like Arc Systems, you know, they've done like Guilty Gear and stuff and everything I've seen from them so far looks freaking amazing. Personally, i never played a game like Guilty Gear or anything. But this will be my first experience with it, and it really looks anime, and it looks amazing. Like, in Finding Games, art style is, like, very important to me. And to see that they go into, like, the essence of Dragon Ball, like, with the art style, freaking amazing. I always loved Toriyama's art style, so the, f the fact that there's going to be a game in that style, I mean, obviously, you know, there's Chrono Trigger and stuff, but, like, another one, hype, hype, hype. And I always loved these kind of arcade style games. Which also makes me even more hype because this is gonna. This seems like it's gonna be like chaotic in a way, and it's amazing. You can tell I'm pretty damn excited. I'm sure. I just can't wait to test out these mechanics and everything. I also heard like the server, or not the server. Like there's gonna be like a hub world sort of thing, but not like Xenoverse. It's just gonna be like little chibi heads and stuff. So if that's the case too, that's gonna be adorable. That's gonna be amazing. And, and, and in a way, that's kind of gonna be reminiscent to me at least of Budokai 2. Where, you know, you're walking on the game board. I don't know, for some reason, like, hearing that there's going to be, like, a chibi hub world just reminds me of that. I, I could probably go on a bit more, but I, I feel like five minutes is a, uh, a right time to stop rambling on. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this, like, kind of hype little discussion, I suppose. I'm going to have my social media in the description. Uh, recent videos on the screen and a subscription button, so if you want to see videos similar to this one... Or maybe some other stuff, because I, I do quite a bit on this channel if you check out all my other videos. Then, uh, you know, be sure to sub. See you in the next one. As always, have an amazing day. Later.